Hello, boys and girls. Before I introduce today's lesson, I would like you to think of a verb. Okay, let's take the verb see. How many forms of see do you know? Let me give you one. Sees, which is also the present tense of see. Then there is see, saw, and seen. Now, if we want to make proper sentences using any of these five words, we have to add helping verbs or auxiliary verbs. And that is what we are going to learn in this lesson, auxiliary verbs. Let's start by making sentences using auxiliary verbs. We'll take the word raining. If we make a simple sentence with this verb, it would be, it is raining. This sentence is in the present continuous tense. Now the word is, is an auxiliary verb, also called the verb to be. If we change that sentence to the past continuous tense, it would be, it was raining. Can you guess which is the auxiliary verb or the verb to be? Yes, was is the auxiliary verb or verb to be. Now we all know is and was are used for singular nouns. Now let's find the verb to be for plural nouns. Let me give you an example. Harry and I normally chat while we are walking to school. The verb is walking. So the auxiliary verb or the verb to be is are. We use are because Harry and I are two people and that is plural noun. Harry and I normally chat while we are walking to school. Now let's look at a sentence that has plural nouns and the verb to be. My parents were working in the garden when it started to rain. I'm sure you already know the verb to be in the sentence. The word parents is a plural noun and working is the verb. So the verb to be should be were. My parents were working in the garden when it started to rain. Now we will look at a few more auxiliary verbs. Look at these sentences and see if you can spot the auxiliary verb. Summit does not cook. In this sentence, we have a negative auxiliary verb. Can you spot it? If cook is the verb, then the auxiliary verb should be does not. Samad does not know how to cook. Let's try another one. Do you swim? We know swim is a verb, so the auxiliary verb should be do. Look at this sentence. Hashima has broken an expensive vase. Broken is the verb, and the auxiliary verb is has. See if you can find the auxiliary verb in this sentence. What have you done? The verb is done, so the auxiliary verb is have. From what we have learned so far, we know that an auxiliary verb is a word that helps verbs in a sentence. We learnt about the verb to be like is, was, which are used for singular nouns, and are and were, which are used for plural nouns. We also learnt a few other auxiliary verbs, such as does, do, has, and have. Again, does and has are for singular nouns, while do and have are for plural nouns. Wow, that's quite a number of auxiliary verbs we have learned in this lesson. Now let's do this exercise. Fill in the blanks with auxiliary verbs. Number one. One of Zaitun's brothers, dash, getting married next week. One of Zaitun's brothers means one brother, a singular noun. The verb is getting. So the verb to be will be is. One of Zaitun's brothers is getting married next week. Number two, the children, dash, not know how to repair the broken bicycle. Children is plural. 
The verb is repair. So the auxiliary verb should be do. The children do not know how to repair the broken bicycle. Number three, dash Susie's uncle and aunt live here? Susie's uncle and aunt are plural. Therefore, we must use the auxiliary verb do. Do Susie's uncle and aunt live here? Number four, my school team dash leading when the referee blew the whistle. School team is a singular noun. The verbs are leading and blue. Blue is in the past tense, so our verb to be will be was. My school team was leading when the referee blew the whistle. Number five, dash, they have to go to bed by 11 o'clock. They is a plural pronoun. Go is the verb. So the correct auxiliary verb to use would be don't. Don't they have to go to bed by 11 o'clock? Number six, dash, anyone seen my hairbrush? Anyone is singular. The verb is seen. The correct auxiliary verb would be has. Has anyone seen my hairbrush? Number seven, Kitty's family dash live here anymore. Although a family may have many members, the word family is a singular noun and the verb is live. So the auxiliary verb is doesn't. Kitty's family doesn't live here anymore. And the last one, Lily's cat, dash, eating its food because it is ill. Cat is a singular noun. The verb is eating. Therefore, the auxiliary verb or the verb to be will be isn't. Lily's cat isn't eating its food because it is ill. That's all for now. Bye.